Uh, so the thing is that we are going with uh, the uh, demo on Sky to Zero. So the thing is that I'm going to describe this scenario that we are going to use in order for to to for this demo. We have a JK cluster that we have deployed on our sandbox environment. And the JK cluster already has. Let me show you one thing. It's already has created Kida installed the latest one of the latest version of Kida is installed on the cluster. And then we have several notebooks where we are going to put our uh, application. The application that we are going to scale is uh, has two components. One of them is a deployment with an APA. Okay, it's an HTTP exposed APA. We are exposing this APA API, sorry, uh, uh, through a node balancer, an external node balancer, so that we are using an HTTP. Uh, uh, JSON API, and we will try to load test this API. So the thing is that this API what puts uh, message on a pub sub queue, okay? And uh, we are going to how does it does it scale all the way down, okay? So we have uh, now we have uh, created a notebook with an API notebook. We have uh, another node pool for the worker API. We have two deployments. Remember, we have the API deployment, which is an HTTP API. And we have another deployment, which is we say the worker deployment, which is going to take message from the queue, okay? And it's going to scale on KIDA, okay? We are going to use KIDA to scale that, uh, the deployment that is the worker deployment. So right now, two components. One of them, uh, HTTP API, we will try to load test the API. The API will scale also, and then we will we will uh, we will have uh, another component, another deployment. Uh, it will it will the API will put message on a sub pub sub queue, and we will take message from the pub sub queue, and we will scale the uh, base it on the number of uh, knowledge or the pending messages on that sub on that pub sub queue uh, with Kida. Okay. That would be the scenario that we are, the, the, the environment that we have uh, for testing. And the scenario, we are going to test, we are going, before that, we are going to build into some kind of the, of how is the, 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 the scale objects that we have been talking before. This is a scale object specification. As can you see the, you can see also trigger authentication, which is the, the trigger authentication is the the, the way that Chimbo has mentioned before. We are using to authenticate to the PubSub API to fetch the number of of pending messages that are on our topic. Okay, and then we have the scale object that is present our deployment, the worker deployment. We have a polling interval of ten, and a minimum replica count of zero, and a maximum replica count of ten. So we are going to scale from zero. And we're going to build to a maximum of 10 pods, replicas, and with a countdown cooldown period of 15 seconds. The trigger that we use for this specific uh, scale object would be a subscription size. I mean, the number of knowledge messages that are on a specific subscription on a specific topic, okay, that we have created also. On That would be the, the thing. Remember, we are going to combine this with an API, and the API is going to, to auto scale on the node balancing capacity utilization. Well, it's, this is a, a standard, a regular uh, HPA version 2. And we are going to go from one because we want our API to be ready when, in, when the first, we don't want to scale to zero our API because it will take more time to, to scale up the, the node. So the thing is that we will be. Uh, we will be, uh, yeah, losing some of the requests. So the thing is that at least one one needs to be ready. One replica needs to be ready to respond to the to the messages. And the the that we we are going to scale in this way. The API is going to scale on the external load balancer uh, uh, capacity utilization metric. Okay, and our workload, our uh, worker is going to scale with KIDA based on the number of pending messages that are on a PAPSA queue. The API will put uh, on a uh, message on a specific queue. We're going to scale KIDA. And later for our test, the last thing we're going to use is K6. K6 is a load test framework. And we're going to send a, 
the payload that we're going to send to the to the to our application to our HTTP ABI, it would be this one, uh, and that yet it will be constantly polling, and we will use uh, two hundred virtual users, and it will and the test will will last for uh, two minutes. Okay, let's start with the with the with the with the test. We will launch the test. While we are launching the test, and we, this is, we will check. Uh, we can check another thing that we have done. We can see on the worker side, the the Brooklyn worker that it we have no replicas right now, so we have to scale from zero. Okay, and we can check also on the on the API on the deployment API that we have only one. Okay, and we can check on the. Look in the subscription that the number of, of pending messages is zero. Okay. And let's we have deployed the CubeOps view on our cluster. So we are uh, basically seeing the how our nodes are are behaving. Sorry, because this is not actually showing very good. I think that the thing is that we're scaling the API right now. Okay. As you can see here, the API is scaling based on our requests. Let me update this one. Thing while we can go here and we can check the the, other, the same thing. The API is being uh being scaled, but you see get us an, a scale label because the thing is that we need to scale up the node. So that that's the thing with that, that, that one of the beauties of Kida or this auto scaling. That the thing is that we're scaling from a reduced capacity, a reduced amount of nodes. You don't have to a uh, uh, lots of nodes waiting for the job to to uh, for the for the for the spike to come. So we are creating nodes on demand with the cloud auto scaler. Okay, and then we are going to cope with the with the capacity. So the thing is that once these nodes have been created, we will check it here, and you can see that the nodes have been created, and they are showing here. Okay. Yes, we have. Yes. Yes. And there's not a lot of time on Jufu. Or the game. No, but I'll be one of what? Yeah, me not. Yeah, me not. You can do those. Same. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Martin. Okay, uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay, uh, so the idea is that you have the this uh, this capacity is on demand. Is you're getting the capacity on demand. So the thing is that you are uh, you're expecting to have a lot of uh, your spikes. You can scale from little capacity to up to to higher capacity with these uh, scalers. And the, and the thing is that you will later. Be the the cloud auto scaler will take uh, uh, the will take care of the nodes that are not being used. I mean, will reduce the again the capacity of your cluster. So the thing is that you need to be aware of these uh, these things. Right now, we have on on the on Kida. Let's so see. We have created with more more worker node pools in order to to cope with the capacity. If you can see the the workers also have been created. They have been created several workers and also to 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 match. So we are scaling on the API and we are scaling on the on the worker. Okay, and the thing is that we are seeing that the that the messages are being are being consumed as when they are generated by the API. So we have these two pieces that they're scaling independently, and we can do it both. One of the things that we can do, remember, is that uh, Chimbu said about the the Kida HTTP add-on. So the thing is that right now it's not production ready, but in the future it will be. So you can schedule API HTTP API uh, uh, independently from your uh, backend or your or your or your workers applications that are uh, some kind of batches. So you can scale and decouple the the API being responsive. Keep the API being responsive, and and decouple the 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 the, the worker. The worker, uh, the worker work, the worker workloads, and use, for example, this buffer, this pops up queue 
in order for the production consumer puddle, okay? So you will be able to, to do both things, to scale on both of them. And that will be more or less the, uh, the thing if you want to continue uh, with, the, with the demo. The demo will take more time to catch up with the, with the, required, uh, with the required workload, but right now we're going to interrupt it. And then the thing is that, yeah, you can see that it's taking more time to create the, these, these workloads, but the thing is that it's working on that. And the thing is that we have seen that we are scaling. And later, when the, when the workload is, is finished, we will be able to, uh, to reduce the workload again. As you can see, it's very graphical. We're going to create this one. We can check the message here. But the thing is that remember that we have all the messages that have been processed here. Okay, you reach to a peak and then it go suddenly drop down when it started to process all the messages. Okay. So that will be all for the demo today. Uh, please uh, keep tuned with us and then, uh, yeah, we have, we can't, we will share it in the future this code if you want to be, uh, you want to, to, yeah, if you want to inspire yourself with the, with the, with our code and then you're very welcome to use it in your own uh, pro projects.